and today is a very exciting day for me. Um, I actually purchased uh, all the components for a brand new computer for, uh, to do the uh, 4K editing and any type of other editing that I'm doing for photos or video. So uh, along here with me is my buddy Jeff Grzawa and uh, he's going to assist me with this because I've actually never put together a computer being that I'm an IT guy. So, uh, yeah, really looking forward to this. Uh, it's going to be a beast when we get done with it. Um, and all these video editing, uh, is, it's going to be much, much, much better when we get done with it. Um, right now, I'm working off a company laptop, so it's kind of, you know, crappy. I've got a bunch of uh, company, like, security policies and everything like that that's really preventing me from doing what I want to do. And not only that, the processing speed. So, uh, processing speed while I'm editing, uh, rendering speed, everything else is going to be so much better from here on out. So, um, yeah. So, without further ado, uh, we're going to get into some explanations of what components that I got. Uh, I will link a description to everything uh, that I got down in the below, and then um, yeah, and then after we're gonna uh, after we're done, we're gonna fire it up, see how it works, get all the the uh, software installed, and we'll go from there. So, you excited, Jeff? I am. This is fun. Yeah. We've got uh, everything we need. It seems like a big task, but it's really simple and easy to do these days. It will save you a lot of money if you put it together yourself. Yeah, uh, and you can customize it for your specific task, and you don't have to call the the asshole college kid down the street <laughs> to smell your house full of weed. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, yeah. With that being said, we're saving um, probably uh, close to anywhere from five hundred to a thousand dollars ordering all this stuff uh, on Amazon uh, and Newegg or wherever we got it from, uh, and putting it together ourselves. So, um, saving a lot of money. And it, uh, hopefully one day it'll you know maybe pan out for itself. So, um, all right. So Jeff, take us through what we got here. All right. We start with a little hard drive. We got an uh, SSD card, the 500 gigabit. They come out with much bigger than this, but this is the first one in the uh, before the price jump. And uh, it's got really good speeds with an affordable price. Okay. Uh, we've got the motherboard. Uh, you just need to make sure you get the right kind of motherboard to match up with the chip that you have. Uh, and then you make sure you get a case that works with both of those. We happen to get an ITX. Um, we'd have to look to see what kind of... Oh, there it is. LGA1151 Type i7 chip. So this is the fastest Intel Core i7 that you can get. And then that LGA type has to match up with what your motherboard supports. And then same thing with your memory. We got DDR4 memory, uh, which should be excellent. A full 32 gig pack, uh, and that matches up with our slots on our motherboard. Outside of that, you just get a nice cooler that gets good reviews with your i7 chip. Uh, we're not gonna be overclocking since our i7 chip puts out plenty. Um, and then a good video card. 4K editing apparently doesn't use much of the video card. Uh, this is mostly for gaming. Uh, but if we ever want to get into 3D video editing, this will probably pick up some of the slack. And according to the reviews we've uh, read, this will incre increase the performance of 4K editing a little bit. Uh, not a whole lot. Uh, we probably went overkill there. 1,000 uh, watt uh, power supply. Um, this is just nothing special. This is your standard one. You want to get one that's not too loud, which are the cheap ones. Get very, very loud, and depending on your case, can... Uh, make for an annoying work environment. Okay. Other than that, I usually just pick the thousand waters because it's more power than you're probably going to ever use. Uh, but the price differences aren't enough to really compare, uh, to concern yourself with. Uh, and then over here, we just have some supplies because I'm used to building these. So we've got cables, we've got some uh, thermal compound to go between our processor and our fan, um, a hard drive cable, not sure if it comes with it. Um, and uh, some screws and stuff cause, just because we weren't sure what comes with uh, the case and our Windows 10 license. Yeah. That's really all you need. It sounds more complicated than it really is because uh, they a lot of times can come into little packs. Yeah. Um, you can get what's called a bare bones system which will include the case, the motherboard, the processor. But since we had something very specific we were trying to do, uh, we tried to do some quick little research to find out. We don't want to be the first ones to do something. <laughs> they just want to be up and working uh, without spending 
$2,800. <laughs> exactly. Um, so we should have everything we need here. Yeah. We'll let, uh, let you get started. All right, guys. I'm going to set this down, and we're going to get going. Alright guys, uh, we got everything plugged in, uh, hopefully correctly, and uh, this is the uh, Windows boot disk, boot to USB, and powering up. Voila, looks like we have uh, power. Success. We have video registering released. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's a good sign. Hey. We got the swirly. I don't know why the motherboard didn't post, but whatever. The swirly twirly. It probably did. It's probably just framed outside right now. There we oh, go. Huh? And we're at Windows. So yeah, so that's a good sign. That's a <laughs> that's a really good sign. So uh, champions <laughs> from basically from here on out, it's just uh, installing a bunch of software, updating the drivers, getting everything uh, set up. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna end the video right here and um, uh, probably call it a night. And then uh, yeah, so hopefully. Uh, I'll be able to give you guys a rundown um, on how it works when we're all finished. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.